Morning everyone. Welcome to this week's first Compliance Over Coffee. But yes, it's Tuesday morning, I know. We're in the last week in January and we have daffodils. Please note, daffodils. It's almost 12 months since I could get daffodils for the vases, so I love them. They bring a ray of sunshine into your life and we could all do with a ray of sunshine in our lives at the moment. So, Compliance Over Coffee, continuing with our document series, and today it's a could have and it's an EPC guide. EPC being Energy Performance Certificate. Sorry, I've got a hair tickling my face. Energy Performance Certificate Guide. Now, for those of you who don't know, whether you're letting a house out or selling it, it is a legal requirement for that property to have a current live EPC guide. And they last for 10 years. And there is a site that you can go and check for residential and a different one for commercial as to whether it has an EPC guide or not and download it and that's free of charge. And it will tell you what level the EPC guide is at. Sorry, not the guide, but the EPC certificate. So it's Tuesday morning, it's early guys. I'm not with it this morning, bear with me. Just bear with me, we'll get there. <laughs> Tony's making all sorts of faces at me opposite the room. So the guide that we have put together is for the seller. And the reason that we have done that is that quite often when we are sourcing properties, and you will as well, we will be direct to the seller with no other agent involved. And so we feel that it's our responsibility to inform them that legally, if they're going to sell their property, that they must have a current EPC certificate in place. And what the guide does is it, it explains a little bit to them about EPC, EPC certificates and why they're in place. It gives them the link to go to check to see if their property has an EPC certificate with a little bit of a description as to how to do that. And also there is a link as to where they can put in their own postcode and if they don't have an EPC certificate, get a list of people who are qualified to be able to provide them one within a certain radius of their postcode area that they can then contact and arrange for the EPC certificate to have. Now, if you're going to source directly to the sellers and not have estate agents involved, before you market the property, really there should be a current EPC certificate in place. But legally it states that it must be in place at least within seven days of first marketing. So from your perspective as sourcing agent, this is knowledge that you should really have before marketing a property which is direct to the seller. Even when one is with an estate agent, we check that the EPC is actually current. It's free of charge for us to do. And I don't trust other people to do the job as well as they should do quite often. So we always double check for ourselves. So that is an EPC certificate guide, which is a could have. So that's compliance over coffee for this morning. We will be back again on Thursday. I hope it's a little brighter where you are. I think we might be due a little bit more snow and then some rain. I'm looking forward to some sunshine, just like my daffodils this morning. Have a great Tuesday and I'll be back with you again on Thursday morning. In the meantime, stay safe. Bye for now.